guys, look how pretty of a day it is. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so sad about that tree because of the snow. Now we're front, front facing. Is this, would this be front facing? Or would it be the other one front facing? I don't know. I turned the camera around so I don't have to like guess <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> where I'm at. So I'm just chilling here with Gatomon. Gatomon! And Jimmy. <laughs> I'm coffee and having one of those little mornings outside because it's really pretty. <coughs> So I'm gonna make a little clip because today is my official last day of my show cam lot. I'm really kind of sad about. I'm like it's really bittersweet because like this has been such an exhausting process with the snow and like having to rush towards the end. Like it was a lot. And even our music director, who I've known for years and been in other shows with, she was like also agreeing that we're like, wow, for some reason I'm extra exhausted during this show and I don't know why. Um, not to mention, every person is getting sick, which we were all afraid of. Anyways, we there was some sickness in the beginning, and of course we always hope, oh, does that mean it's over with? But we're like, no, probably not, because Tech Week is usually when sicknesses come back. So our whole cast started getting sick, and there's like a scene where a bunch of people kiss each other. Like we each kiss somebody at some point in this song. Um, so it's like... Ooh, sort of inevitable. Um, though my two my two uh, people that I kiss, we have been trying to take precautions because they both got sick, and so we've been like just doing cheek kissing and seeing if it helps prevent anything. I'm definitely starting to cough, but then again, sometimes I just have a really weird cough to begin with. And I don't really ever know like if it's caused by something like a cold or if it's actually like just me coughing. I don't really know. I, I really really need to go to the doctor and like figure out what's going on because I have a lot of sinus issues and, like post nasal drip well, I know lovely right so much lovely information but and then sometimes when I'm cold or when I'm really tired I'll cough a lot and it's like deep coughs like something you hear when someone's sick and so that's not always how I cough but I'm just saying sometimes it's like ugh probably should get to bonding because if I have like asthma or even something more serious like I probably should figure it out I don't know what it is I'm just like one of those people like, oh, psh, I'm not sick it's fine <laughs> but like I'm just like I'm one of those people that will just push those things out as far as I possibly can because I'm like I'm not sick and then usually I can keep it at bay if I am either sick or if I'm dealing with something else and so it's like I don't know I don't know if it's a prideful thing. I hope not. That would be gross. Like, ugh, I'm too pride still to get the doctor. No, it's just, okay, at this point, I'm the only, I have only one doctor that I was seeing regularly. It's a specific female doctor. It's a doctor that I've been seeing regularly. And my dentist. Those are the two I've been seeing regularly for years. But I haven't seen a regular doctor, like, for a long time. I mean, like a year ago. Was it a year ago? I think it was a year ago. Yeah, it would have been because um, when I we last time we were in Christmas for in Alaska, which wasn't this last Christmas, it was the one before. Um, I got sick, and that was like soon when we came back. I was like, it was really bad. I was coughing and stuff, and for like three weeks to like a month, and so we're like, let's go to the doctor. And that was the first time I had been to the regular doctor in five years. And now I had to do an insurance switch when I turned twenty six. And so I only have specific doctors that I can go to currently, and I've sort of been, like, afraid, I think. So, like, cause I think a lot of them are either, like, students or, like, I don't know, almost graduating. I'm not sure, because, like, it's the state insurance for the health stuff. I don't know. I'm nervous. I'm sure it's fine. It's gotta be fine. But I do need to find a doctor, like, officially, and just, I need to take allergy tests really badly i need to figure out what's causing all my sinus problems um and my cough and stuff hopefully it's nothing serious i don't think so because it's been going on for a long time and i feel like if it was really serious then like i would be slowly like degrading or like you know i don't know anyway moving on oh, 
there's a hawk. Or not a hawk, it's an eagle. It's an eagle. Shoot, that was cool. Hold on. Hold on. Dang, he flew off. I was gonna try to catch him. <coughs> Was definitely a bald eagle. Oh well, I tried to catch him, but he flew off. Anyways, that was cool. I'm just thing. Where was I? I don't know. I do want to talk about that. It's my last show, like officially at my college show, which I know I've mentioned already in some videos that I haven't even edited yet, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I mentioned it. Um. But yeah, it's my last show, and it is kind of bittersweet that tonight's the last night, and tomorrow we have strike where we take down the set and everything. Unfortunately, I get hours for class for that. I'm like, yeah. I have to be there for like, probably, well, they originally it was like 1 to like 11 was like the predicted time, 1 p.m. to 11 p.m. But it's really when we finish um, taking down the set. Yeah, which could take a while. But then again, if we're not completely finished, I'm sure me and my classmates next week will probably continue doing it outside of our class time. <clears throat> but yeah, so it's been a journey and it feels weird like I'm coming to the closing of like a chapter. But also, and it's, it's scary in that sense too because I'm like, where am I going next? I mean, yes, I applied for an internship, but we haven't heard yet back from them. They gave me specific times. They said like, we'll either be contacted in February or March for an interview, um, but you'll definitely know of your status by April 2nd. So, it sounds like they're going to tell us no matter what, uh, which is good. I hope so because I hate that lingering feeling like, um... What's going on? I thought about calling them, but then I talked to my teacher and he said because they gave specific dates, we probably shouldn't call them because they said you'll know your status by this time. And it might look a little like, you know, like, hey, tell me what's going on. We'll see. And if that doesn't work out, which, you know, it still could, but if it didn't, like, I'm sure there's other opportunities and I really want to go back to the youth theater that I did stuff, a bunch of stuff at. And I started acting it, and I'm like, I want to, like, work there really badly, along with probably the movie theater, because I don't think one or the other is going to be enough money, because I know the movie theater doesn't pay very well, um, and I also haven't been able to work much, so I'm, like, super broke, <laughs> but, um, but... I know I'm gonna have to go back to the whole two job life, which is fine, especially if it's like youth theater and like the movie theater. I think that will like be a good combination. That was sort of my like overseeing plan when I first applied at the movie theater. I'm like, hey, first I was thinking I could try to volunteer more, but then I've had school and stuff, so it hasn't been, I haven't been able to. <laughs> but then my teacher, who's been teaching my past two classes, also works there, so I'm like, wow, like. It's a sign. Anyways, I'm going to finish my coffee, which is probably cold. Um, and just enjoy the beautiful day. And try to embrace my last show at Bellevue College.